a magician. I turned twenties into hundreds, robbed a casino with my eyes closed, watch the money keep it coming. That's right, keep it coming. Right. Uh, don't tempt me coming with nonsense. Even though I made it out, still empty. One of these objects, buying houses, living rent free, that's one of the concepts. <laughs> Pulling up in Bentleys in front of the projects. Cocaine white, had crack under my cuticles. My car give me flashbacks of what I used to do. Richard Millie's a trophy, it's on your checklist. Till you smarten up and realize that's an investment. I can't move it if the coke is bad. Bigger the Cuban that symbolize how much dope you had. It's for my niggas that did biz, but they came back up. Pulling up in color ninja and made back trucks. And I'ma bet it all and bet it twice. That's just what happened when you live in the better's life. Welcome to episode six of A Better Life with Dame and the Genius. I can't believe we six weeks into the season already. Man, time is flying. Man, we're getting it in, right? We're getting it in. Yeah. I, I'm Dame the Gambling God, Mr. The Magician, Mr. Turn 20s in the 100s, Mr. Rob the Casino without a gun. You know my slogan. <laughs> That's right. I tell you, you got to trademark that, man. We've got to trademark sure. that. And my co-host is Genius. Yes. Financial guru, he shows you how to get the money. I'll show you what to do with it. So, bro, tell me, man. I wasn't with you this weekend. So right. I didn't get a chance, you know what I'm saying, to see the big Vegas life. But what did you do, and, and how were your bets this weekend? Man, you left me in Vegas here all by myself. <laughs> I'll tell you. I know you can hold it down, though. Yeah, I held it down. But, no, I did pretty good. Uh, daily plays went pretty good. Uh, the college grocery list, I was off by. I did a 19 college grocery list. Okay. Um, I went seven for nine. It was supposed to go eight for nine. I was one point away from the over on the Colorado game. No way. It, it ended at 51. I had 52. Wow. But, hey, yeah. man, that, that was a solid analysis because you said that. Yeah. You said it was going to be a fight, you, you know, and so you said, but even with their prediction you had, but, but that's how you know with those books, man. Whatever yeah. computer models they're generating or, you know, whatever is going on, for them to get that number right there. Yeah, that line was tight. That line, that line was, was tight. tight. But hey, it was a good game though. Definitely yeah. a good game. And then I went seven out of nine, so that's still, you know, still almost an eighty percent clip. That, so absolutely. I wasn't too far off. Hey, listen, it's choosing seven winning teams on one ticket, yeah. that's that's something that's no, especially safe. in college. You know, college yeah. you get kind of you yeah, know college so janky. You could be all the way off. You could <laughs> yes. be on all the way off yes. of college. Hey, but see, that's the thing. Because even with so far, so we're six, seven episodes total, you know, in now. Uh, weeks going through. By this time, we should have at least some bit of analysis. Yeah, you know, like at least something should be steady about how things going in college, especially at NFL. But it's so hard to really do analysis on that. So, like, if you, you choosing seven teams out of nine correct, like, what did you do? Well, I broke down. You know, in college, it's sixty some games. So that's what makes it so difficult. It's so many decisions. Mm. It's oh, like, you get overwhelmed. Yeah, it's like when you go shopping and you see. You want it's ten pairs of shoes that you want, but you got to narrow it down to the one or two that you're gonna get. Mm. It's the same thing when when we um doing picks. You know, I, I I'm glad you say that because I could see that. You know, how we go into the casino and you walk in and you get that big pick sheet, right, <laughs> with all the games on it, and it's like posted on a bigger the biggest sheet of paper you ever seen in your life. <laughs> no, it's that, definitely intimidating because they might have thirty teams on the front, and then you flip it open, it's thirty oh, more teams. Right, right. So yeah. Yeah, it's so kind of th- tough. That that can be. That could definitely be overwhelming. I know we want to get to talking about some of that too, especially for a lot of the new betters who don't really know, you know, exactly what to do. Or like, you know, the whole setup and process when they're going into the casino. Because, like, there's so many things when you step in that can be super overwhelming. You know what I mean? So we got a story for that. Yeah. <laughs> so the producer, Bethany, went to go place her first bet this weekend. So Bethany, tell us. <laughs> Hey, everybody says, hey, <laughs> if you're going to be around here, right, oh, you, yeah. you be like, yo, yeah. you got you to gotta play these you things. Gotta you got to eat. So, hey, producer too, she's like, hey, y'all getting this money. I want to eat, too. What I got to do? When I say everybody eats, everybody eats, baby. Everybody eats. So, we let Bethany go on her own to do the picks herself to see what she learned. So, tell us how your experience went. 
I'm gonna be real. It was a bad experience for me because when I like when I do things, I like to be as prepared as possible. I don't care what I'm doing. I wanna. I don't wanna look like an amateur, even if it's my first time doing something. I wanna be prepared. So. Right. I asked, you know, Letitia a few questions. I asked Jeans a few questions. And, of course, I'm just going by your picks. I trust you. I don't know anything about sports betting. I love it. Like, nothing. I'm, <laughs> That's I'm real. a virgin. So, <laughs> I go and I asked, you know, some questions before I went up there about, like, so what do I do? Like, I need to take my ID. I need to get a, a card. Okay, cool. Can I use my debit card when it's time for me to pay? And it's like, <laughs> yeah, cool. So, I'm like, okay. So, I have the picks. I go up there and um, the guy's just looking at me like he knows I'm, I'm green, I'm fresh meat. Who's she I'm here like, best for? Yeah, like, and I know that's what he was thinking. Like, yeah. she ain't here placing best for somebody else. But I'm like, and I let him know. I said, hey, this is my first time. I got my phone out. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the pics, right? And so I ended up having to step away oh. because I had to call Letitia and be like, okay, what do I say? Yeah. Because it's a different language for me. Right. What is a parlay? What is a seven-point teaser? What are these numbers on the side? Like, I'm completely yeah. green. I don't know what's happening. So <laughs> When do I hand them the money? <laughs> yeah, like, when do, when do I pay? Like, how do yeah, I take the money? Take the money. Like, <laughs> I have, I'm, I'm putting $200 towards this. Okay. You know? And so I don't know how. Am I splitting it up? Even reading the sheet, I see, like, eight things here. So I'm like... I'm just really confused. So I call Tisha and she pretty much tells me like what to say. She's like, okay, you go up there and I, I had to write it down, y'all. <laughs> Look, that sheet you were talking about, this oh, right here. Oh, there you go. Right, there you go. Okay, I see this. Right? So um, she told me to tell them because I had to go and make an, I got different copies. Nice. I want to make sure I had it right. So she said it's a four two team seven point teaser. <laughs> Look, I still don't know what that means, right, but right. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna go up there and say it. And so I circled everything that I was supposed to say and to tell the guy. And um, he's typing everything in. And I'm seeing everything pop up on the screen, and it's matching what you Which have, you know, on there. So I'm like, okay, I said that right. Good. All right, okay, we good. And I'm looking up him, looking up at him for more confirmation that I'm doing this right. He's like, okay, okay. But he tells me, he was like, I can tell this is your first time. You're not supposed to have your phone up here. And I'm like, oh my God. So I don't have everything on the sheet. So I'm like, I'll be back. I go and I make sure I fill this out as, Good. as best as I possibly can. Send a picture to Tisha. She's like, yeah, that's it. Just tell him that verbatim. You're good. So I go, I tell him that verbatim. And then he's like, all right, uh, $200. And so I hand him my debit card, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "So here I'm Put embarrassed. I got it's a line full of people, right, right. You know, yeah. coming in. It's a Saturday night. Yeah, you feel yeah. So you feel pressure. putting their bets, and so oh, I'm like, yeah. oh my god, like I'm nervous as hell. Oh. So I go to the ATM, and I'm feeling like shit, cause I'm like, ah. I wish that I knew what I was doing before. I don't want to be like such an amateur, but I have to go through this to learn mm, right. what to do. So I come back with my two hundred dollars. He kept my tickets, so he was like, I can only keep this for so long, and then I'm, we're going to have to do this all over. So I'm like, this straight to the ATM, right? yeah. and I come back, I had him the $200, and he just kind of looked at me like, okay. And I was like, oh, okay, I get, gather my tickets, and I go about my, my business, but I was just like, did I do this right? Like, I'm calling Tisha on the phone on the way home, because I'm still nervous, but I did it, and... Congrats. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It would have been really nice to have someone hold my hand through this process, but, you know, sometimes you got to just be thrown in the water to learn how to swim. So. Okay, but this is the biggest question. Did yeah. you win? I won. Hey! Okay, that's, hey! That's, that's, there we go. There so we that's, go. That's the biggest, that's yeah. the biggest thing. That's right. That's, that's right. right. So, look, that's why it's going to be important <laughs> to buy the courses. People Absolutely. that are virgins, as she say, I'm or virgin. what we call novice or amateurs, buy the course it teach it teaches you how to what you do when you walk in the casino, how to place a bet, proper protocol, etiquette, everything. You getting I'm a, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing with no questions asked. Absolutely, and it's just gonna be such a value for you. So just like you said, you know when you're there, you, you all you want to do is win. 
<laughs> right? We, we're trying to copy him. We're trying to rob the casino without a gun, right? You know? Tell me, tell me what I need to do. What I need to do. That's it. Yeah. But today, you know, something's up. Maybe even down the line as this goes on, I, I know that, you know, even especially when you're getting that um, diamond, the ultimate package, you're able to actually go through these classes and talk to him directly. For anybody who purchases that package, you get a one-on-one. -on -one. So after you go through the classes, you know, get some of the basic information and all the knowledge, you're able to then say, all right, cool. I I've done the least of this work on myself. Now let me actually have access to their pro. And when you're going through the courses, if you have questions throughout, just write it down. And then once we do the one-on-one, -on -one, you, can, you can ask me anything you want to ask me. And, so, and that's huge. That's yeah. huge. We don't have direct access to you. Because I didn't have that. When I learned, I, I had to learn on my own. I didn't have anybody I can call and ask questions to or to give me the guidelines. So I learned it from the bottom up, the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're cutting that down. You're making that shortcut yeah, to where they don't have to go through all those pitfalls and bad things mm -hmm. in order to learn Trust to get me, this. I'm, I'm 20 years in, so I'm cutting the learning curve. I'm cutting the learning curve by 18 years. Right? And, dog, and who else is doing this? If, if I went with a real estate investor or a broker or anybody, and I'm having them show me, hold my hand through selling a house, how you know they're taking half the money. You can't beat that. You're not asking for anything from, from their winning. And then it's, it's, the package is only $4.99. Only? And you get seven days of free picks. So, I mean. And that's only until after this comes out, because on the 13th, prices just might change. Yeah. So, <laughs> so make sure you get your pre-sales in. Make sure you get the orders in. And again, if, if you do, you know, like, comment, subscribe, then maybe, and, and send us a message, maybe there's something else we can offer for you or throw a, a benefit or a bonus for you, you in might there. throw something in. To get, to get some money off. I know we've had some of our viewers already um, reply to us, tell us that, hey, man, I love your podcast. I've subscribed to it. I've been telling people. And, and we took care of them. We, we gave, them, gave them some discounts and things so For that sure. they can get this access to the classes and learn as well, too. So the, the, the retail value of um, the Diamond course we're selling for four ninety nine. The retail value is nine thousand. It's almost ten thousand dollars. But bro, tell them hey, what do they get with that? Because this is a lot. I don't know. And, we added so I, much I, stuff to it. So you getting, you get uh, the sports betting course. You all get, levels, right? All levels. You get you get the you get the uh, silver, gold, and a diamond package. So all three. You get all three levels. You get a one on one with me. You get seven days of free picks. Whoa, yeah. that's a lot. Right. Seven days. So you're going to teach them how to do it, and you're going to give them the picks on top of it? And I'm going to give them the picks on top of it. So they don't even got to pay separately for the picks. They got that a whole week. The whole week. Bro, with just the, what they That's do, the value right there. That's what I'm saying. That's the value right there. Seriously. Yeah. So you can learn how to do it. We're going to give you the picks. All you need is your money to put in. That's it. And okay, the biggest thing. I know what you're about to say. You, you, you know me. Because see, you know, listen, my, I'm, in, I'm in finance, guys, right? So... It's one thing, to, you know, just like you said, you want to be able to get to the money and then know what to do with it. Part of it first is even having the money to access. So what we've done, even when we started this, he was like, man, I want to make these courses too high because I want my people to get it. Right. That, was, that was the biggest thing. He, he wanted to be sure that. Hey, Jeans, jeans was trying to charge y'all 2500 for the course. I'm, I'm trying to charge 10000 <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to get the, because I just know of even how much you changed my life with teaching me how to do this. Mm -hmm. So I know the value of what I'm able to do. Bro, I was able to take my girlfriend out and for an amazing weekend just of the knowledge you taught me. So, but same thing too. These people are going to be able to learn this and so this is the thing. We're offering now. We're able to get it to where you guys can pay over time. Let me say it again. You can pay over time. So if you want these courses, you don't got to worry about spending $500 at one time. We actually can do it where you have after pay. So it's going to be like less than, less than $125 for the package. You're going to have over six weeks to pay this off. Mm. No problem. And now if you can't make $500 in six weeks, then yeah, you're right. You don't need to be doing this. You know, that reminds, it reminds me of when, um, you know, we didn't have no money back in the day. And my mom used to put our clothes on layaway. You, you might be too young. You know about no, layaway? No, I know layaway. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Do they still do layaways? I don't even think they do it no more. Yeah. Ross, Ross and TJ Maxx had that bomb. Walmart level. too. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I wanted a bike and I was like, hey, you are a boy. <laughs> that's yep. real, man. But see, but that, that's just the thing. You know, we're, we might not be in that situation now, but you still understand a lot of people who may be in that situation. Yeah. And you don't want to leave nobody out. And like when you said that, that's like, huh, 
You're right. <laughs> oh, no, that also reminds me. We got a bunch of subscribers. We got a lot of subscribers from, from jails and prisons. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I, you know, I got a sister spot for that. Yeah. You know, yep. I did nine years myself. Yeah. So, all the guys that buying the courses from prison, I'm going to give you guys 25% off. There you go. Just show proof that you... That you're doing a bid, or if you have done a bid, uh-huh. I'm giving you 25% off. Yeah, let me see the J-Pay or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. Yeah, but you see, that's good. Hey, shit, we can get them a lawyer, pay some lawyer fees. Easy. <laughs> you know have some money when they come home. Hey, that's right. Take care of their family while they, while they in there. But see, yeah. but that, but see, bro, that's the thing that you're doing. You're showing people how to really make money in other ways. I even read some of the comments when a guy was like, Man, like you guys, brothers are really changing my perspective on how I see money in my free time. Because right. this is our free time. Yeah, we're not. You know what I mean? We're being able to go in and see, you know, put a bet in and chill. See, that's the best thing about sports bet. You don't have to physically watch the game, or you yeah. don't have to physically be there. You can put your bets in on your mobile app, on the computer, or the casino. And once you put your bet in, you don't have to watch the game. Good. You just go back. And, so you have the free time to go pick your kids up, take them to school. Whatever, whatever you want to do in your free time, get massages, work yeah. out. Whatever right. you want to do, you have that free time. So that's what's, that's the value in sports betting. Exactly. Also, it's free time. Exactly. Yeah. So like, so going back, even back, the value of this package is going to be like whatever the value of your time is, that's what's going to be what this is worth to you. Because if you need time to do other things, watch your kids, take care of your kids, even enjoy your life. And a great second stream of income. And an amazing second stream, yeah. you know? And so I, I got to go back. I know last week we talked about WNBA and the Aces. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, listen, those thing. are my girls yeah, right Your now. girls came through for you. They, they came yeah. through. The, bro, with that, that's all I was saying. Like, They're in the finals. I'm going to take you to a game, man. Please, let's that's, do it. Let's go. You get a jersey? I got to get on the wood. We can see on the yeah, wood. Yeah, of course. Hey, there we go. I know, I know how you do it, so you know what I'm saying? Of course, we on the wood. Hey, There's I'm, no other way. If we ain't on the wood, <laughs> we're not going. Hey, I'm with that, bro. Let's do I it. I think I got an outfit already picked out. <laughs> man, you got to get a jersey, man. You got to wear a jersey. Yeah? You can wear your suit, but put a jersey on top of the suit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> making a statement, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the the winnings that I made from them this weekend, I, like I said, I, I was in Atlanta, so I went okay. with you this weekend. But yeah. I was able to take my girlfriend out because you know I've been spending so much time here, being sure the courses, everything's done. So I needed at least you know spend a little quality time with my lady. But it was great, especially being able to, like you said, use some of the winnings and have fun. Yeah. So I watched you do it. So I wanted to you know emulate that kind of the same thing. You know, so I appreciate that. I'm glad I could be of assistance. <laughs> You're my role model, man. You know it, dude. You're so my role model. For we we got to go into the bad beat segment. Oh, man. But so you this know, is I got a love hate relationship with <laughs> Sierra Wilson. No, Sierra Russell. Because <laughs> yeah, right. he is not Russell Wilson anymore. Listen, man, I think it's almost time for him to retire. Like with the, the yeah. stats he's been putting up and just how things have been going. Yeah, no, nah, like, you got to come on. You got to know when to fold him. Yeah, no, nah, he looked horrible. So was that the one that messed up your ticket? That was the one that messed up my ticket. Ah oh, man, nah, they I lost with. True story. I was in the pool watching the game on the on the phone. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, cool. Life. They gonna cover the spread. It was down by three. Yeah, I had my plus six and a half. I said, okay, boom, boom. They gonna cover the spread. The game is over. So I'm getting out the pool. To go shower right quick to go hedge my bet for the uh, the 49er game. As I'm walking by the TV, I see the Jets scoring. And I'm like, well, that may what? be. I'm like, no, that, that, that might be a replay from earlier today. <laughs> There's no way they could have just scored a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, like, nah, they didn't. And then I see on the top of the screen, winner. I'm, I could not believe it. No. Dog. So you going over to the head, the hedge, to the, and you see this, and you're like, what? I counted the money already. Man. I had already counted the money. So I'm standing in my living room, drenching. I just got the pool. Still got, <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> Man. But see, you said something in there, too. And I know like a lot of the um, listeners listen to that. So one of the things you said was hedge. So you said you were headed to hedge the 49ers bet. Yeah. Well, what do you mean by that? Just for well, some of the people who don't know. I had the 49ers know. on a, um, I think a six or seven point season okay. to win, I bet like 3000 to win like 20000 Wow. So I had a $17,000 gap. So I was gonna go hedge the bet and take the Cowboys, which they didn't cover anyway. So, but I still would have made. I still, I guarantee myself some money. So I would have hedged it for five thousand. So what you're saying is even. So you had to take it already with the Forty yeah. ers mm -hmm. So if they didn't cover the amount of points they needed, in which they could still lose on right. that ticket, 
Um, but the Cowboys, if they won, you were trying to put something in just in case to be just sure case that to, you win no least, matter what. At least secure my investment. That's smart. My initial That's investment smart. was 3000 I was going to do 5000 So worst case scenario, at least win 2000 Smart. Win my money back plus 2000 Smart. But if if not, if the ticket hit, then three plus that five that I was going to put in eight, it was a $20,000 gap. So that still would have been 12000 out of me. I'll tell you a true story. You might not know this. I learned about that from you when you showed me. I, I don't, it was like maybe like four or five years ago. You'd had like a long future bet. I want to say it was on like the Patriots or something like that doing the Super Bowl. It was back when Brady was playing. Mm-hmm. And you were teaching me about how to hedge then, especially with the futures. Yeah. That's something I think we should get back into. Yeah. The future bets, no, I, you know. I, I, and, and I highly recommend hedging. Yeah. You know, you never go broke taking a profit. So even, I mean, you might not win as much as you thought you was going to win, but at least you're going home with a profit. And that's yeah. what I. I highly su- suggest. I mean, that's you this weekend. As long as the daily plays are hitting, because a lot of the daily plays, I notice you do those as straights. Yeah, straight, or I do two teams. I break it down. So, But let me finish my Russell Wilson story. Tell me, man. Tell me. So I go. I had to bring it down. <laughs> so, I know no, you. I know you. No, no, I got so mad. Let me show you. Show me. I want to see this, man. I broke my little Nefertiti. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, so yeah, it wasn't dog. the TV. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, no. I knocked this motherfucker way slapped man. across the room. Broke my ah. shit. Yeah, that was expensive, too, bro. Man, Russell, you. This, he, he owes you another one, right? Sierra, you owe me. <laughs> Russell, Sierra, oh, owe me. man. You see what so, happened? Hey, every time you think about that, every time you're going to think about the Broncos. I got emotional. You might have to send that to him. <laughs> <laughs> I got emotional. <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. I mean, if I, was, if I just lost $20,000 just like that. On a flute, because the rest of, listen. I was hot. I might be sending him a bill or an invoice. <laughs> I was ready to pack it in and go to sleep. I bet, man. Our, our head to Denver. <laughs> <laughs> but just like you were saying, um, before that, the futures. Yeah. Yeah, I really think that's a great long-term strategy for people um, that we could even work into, like, that bankroll management, because a lot of the futures, when you place those, it's a lot of plus money. Um, and I think part of that too is because you know the casino is holding that money for such a long time. Yeah. They have to make it you know enticing to the betters who are going to bet it. But I mean, if I had really good feeling about even the 49ers, I right now I would probably take them on a future. Yeah. And I, I said this in the first episode. My my dark horses for this year to um, win the Super Bowl was I took Miami, Baltimore, and uh, the Browns, mm. and. It was like twenty. You bet five hundred to win like twenty five thousand. See, that's so, yeah. my type of uh, return yeah. right there. That's a huge return. Five hundred dollars in, and it's just sitting for maybe what seven six, months, six, six, six seven six months. months. You know yeah. what I mean? And to have a potential to pull back out twenty five thousand again. There's nowhere else you're gonna find to get that return anywhere, right? No, well, I agree with you. Yeah, man. So. Um, I know we had a few more things that come from the um, subscribers this week um, with the questions. So I know we saw a few in the comments. Uh, let's see, wh- what do we have this week? Ty Bishop asks, what do you mean when you say teaser? So a teaser is, once, a, know yeah, once again, <laughs> once again, by the course, yes. and lay the whole thing out. But a quick review is, a teaser is, they got... It depends. They got six, six and a half, a seven point teaser. So what you're doing is, if a team is favored to win by seven, if you do a seven point teaser, you bring the point spread down to zero. So now, all the team has to do is win. They don't have to cover the spread. And the reverse, if the team is plus seven, which means the team can lose by six or less, and you still win. Now you add seven points to the, to the already seven. So now it's plus fourteen. So now the team can lose by thirteen points, and you still win. Boom. Can't get any better than that. <laughs> I love that. And, and I will say, definitely check out bravebets.eu. Yeah. Bro, my app on the Caesars went down this weekend. Mm-hmm. So I'm so grateful for Brave Bets because I was able to go into bravebets.eu and put in a lot of my parlays and I hit there. So I'm going to probably start using those just exclusively yeah. instead of using all the ones here because I need a book that's going to be reliable, yeah, you know? And, and you, can use, you can use bravebets.eu anywhere, anywhere in the world. Yeah, you don't like have to that. be like in a certain state where gambling is legal. You can use mm. it anywhere in the world. Oh. That's the best thing about it. And the the app is user friendly. 
Yeah, 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 super, super. Bethany, even you can work. Even you can work. <laughs> but you know, that's a good thing. So for a lot of people who are really, like if you're really too nervous to go into that sports book for the first time right. yeah. and you really want to see like what everything looks like or even put a bet in, online is an amazing opportunity because you know, you're not having to talk to anyone yeah. or have that fear or pressure of a lot of people being around you, rushing you to get your bet in. And Brave Bet also has great customer service. Absolutely. So they answer any questions, they walk you through it. Easy process. Yeah, I, I made my deposit and I got a message back. Boom, it was ready. It's in the account uh, within like 20 minutes. And I mean, that's awesome. That's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for. Yeah. Uh, I did have someone in my DMs ask me um, about when the courses are going to be available. Um, so right now they are available for pre-sale. Right. Uh, we do have a tentative date of having everything released to you to be viewed on Monday, October 16th. That's okay. right. Monday, October 16th. Um, so finally put him out. Right. <laughs> like he was on me. Album. <laughs> I was on his head, y'all. Locked me in a room. <laughs> finally came out. We, we, we ready to roll now. That's it. Oh, that's also it. another question we got was uh, round robins. I know we talked about it yes. on the episode last week. But also what you can do is, like, when I do my uh, the grocery list, so last week I did a 13-teamer, I think 11 out of 13 teams hit. Mm. And so when you do just one pick, if one team lose on the ticket, you lose the whole ticket. But you can do a, a round robin. Mm -hmm. And a round robin is you could do it out of 13 teams, you could do it by twos, threes, fours, fives, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. So what the computer does, if you say I'm going to do a round robin by twos or by threes, so the co computer automatically – Goes in, do the algorithm, so it's gonna break every team up into two teams for you. That's right. So you go team one will be team uh, be paired with team thirteen, team one will be paired with team twelve, team one will be paired with team eleven, all right. the way so it breaks it up in like uh, maybe sixty or seventy different combinations. Mm -hmm. So that way, if one team, one or two teams lose on the ticket, you still at least win your money back in a small profit. That's right. That's so right. I highly, highly advise people to start doing teasers or yourself breaking it up as 13 teams, just do uh, three-team teasers or two-team teasers. Break it up. So you're going to – because, listen, I'm going to hit that 80% clip. No, I might no, lose one or two, no. but I am, I'm not going to be too far off, but you can at least still make a profit. Yeah. And I, and my only last bit to that, because you like – everything you said was flawless. <laughs> like, there's nothing like, I add to that. Mm -hmm. All that I would say is a lot of times, like, the even with those, you may be getting a lot of tickets – but the minimums on those are really pretty low. Yeah. So even for like someone who's just starting out, and he's saying like, "Oh, it's thirteen tickets," or you know, it's a, a bunch of tickets. It's very conservative in the way because you. But win. no, the, the the best thing about when you do the um, round robins, you only get one ticket. The computer automatically does it for you, so you're not getting sixty different tickets. It's gonna put it's gonna have round robin with all the teams on it, and you know what you gonna win when you go to the counter so it automatically does it for you so you still have one you don't you don't have a bunch of tickets bingo. So that's the best thing about it bingo i love it question from the audience yeah what is the easiest sport to predict in sports betting Ooh. i don't know none of them are easy no yeah I, my favorite is um uh hockey and then my second favorite is nfl No, you don't have to understand. Just buy my picks. I make it easy for you. That's right. Hey, he's doing all the re he's doing all the research for you because I'll tell you. You don't have to do any research. All you have to do is is get the weekly package or the daily package. Yep. Put your put your bets in and make money. The only thing you'd have to do is understand. So that's why that's why taking the course is so important. Right. Because all the the major things we're we're teaching you what to say and how to be comfortable. But as far as the analysis of the sports, we're doing. He's doing all the hard work for you. That's right. What he said. <laughs> um. You know, something she said too. I was like, damn, that's good. Oh, yes. Hockey. Bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. First hockey, hockey season's back. Hockey season's Hell, season, yeah. yes. Listen, I went to it. That was my, I, that's why I'm so excited today. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him came in. I saw bro doing his homework, doing, you know, making the picks for everybody. And then I was like, hey, hockey season starts. <laughs> like, this is when I personally love to make money, yeah. you know, because during the week I can run up my bankroll on hockey yeah. and then I can really go bigger on football. So I am so excited right now because now, because baseball has been ripping me. Yeah, baseball, <laughs> like, <it's a> <laughs> seriously. Yeah, it gets tight at, um, yeah. at the end of the year, it gets tight. So, but see, that's the other thing about sports betting too. Throughout the year, you have so many different leagues that start and end or uh, that come on. So, 
this is really like a, you know a, that second form of income that continues to be residual and to keep going on because there's typically always a sport. It's only like what a few weeks throughout the year, like maybe two weeks where there's nothing going on. No, there's always something. Going on. There's <laughs> you never know I mean? not anything going on, right? Always because you can bet on politics. You the can get only time anything. in life that it was nothing to bet on was during COVID. Ah, yeah. That was the only time in life. There's always, there's always. If it's not baseball, it's basketball. If not basketball, it's soccer. If not soccer, it's hockey. It's college, pros, uh, uh, Canadian football. You got uh, Tokyo. <laughs> I bet it all, bro. Yeah, 24 tennis. hours, 24 you know, hours a day. It's always yeah. something better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and for the soccer, football too. Yeah, you know, especially for some of the Spanish clients. And we're gonna be coming out with uh, everything in Spanish as well too, and other languages. So we're not leaving anybody out. Uh, a lot of my Spanish followers were messaging me and saying, hey, I really like what you guys are doing, but some of the stuff, y'all talk a little fast. <laughs> and me translating into Spanish doesn't work. So, lo siento, sin problemas, yo puedo hablar con para usted. Uh, it will be listo para in uh, próxima semana. So we got that for you next week. Stay tuned. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> for real. Tranquilo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They're killing the narrow. That's all he got to say. <laughs> all right? Get the we got money. The, that's it. The that's money. That's it. Because we're going to make it work. I do understand that. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'll show you what to do with it. <laughs> and so now, for my favorite part of every episode, comes the free game from Dame. Okay, once again, we're going back to the well. We're going to do a seven-point teaser. A seven-point teaser. A two-team seven-point teaser. We're going to take the Eagles and the Niners. Mm. Lock it in. I think we can load up on that play. I like that. I like I that. I love that one. Yeah, I, I really like both of those teams like the whole year. I think both of those could even yeah. be you know contenders for the Super Bowl. I think so. Uh, you feel the same way? Yeah, throw the Chiefs in with it. The Dolphins look good. So, yeah. Yeah. and then, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting year. It is, man. Yeah. It is. And then the 49ers have my guy from North Carolina, uh, McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. He's, hey, he's tough. a beast. He's tough. Yeah, he man. Tough. I think I seen um, one of the, like a meme or something, what the statistics for him. Like, if you bet on him to score a touchdown oh, yeah. every game. He's going like 14 straight. Yeah. 14 straight touchdowns, yeah. I think, I think he hold a record. Duh, imagine like putting a hundred dollars on even that first one and rolling that money. Anytime over. touchdown for um yeah. yeah, that's gonna be one of the ones that I'm personally gonna start playing on, especially with the prop bets. Since you know you guys you are You know what's like, crazy? Like, now that the public is gonna be on it, the juice is not gonna be as good. You know that was the one of the ones you should have caught early, but yeah, but see just still like, some value. But just like one of the I think the subscribers said too, uh, with one of the questions, like what is the benefit of making those bets early in the week? Versus later on in the week, like Saturday or Sunday, just before the game. Yeah, well, with that, is no rhyme or reason because when I put out the um, my pick last week, even a free pick, I had the Bills, the Bills on the ticket. I forgot that they. Well, I didn't know they was playing in London. I thought it was gonna be a home game. You know, so, that, so that threw my handicapping off. And then for the, so all the subscribers that bought my picks late, that didn't have the Bills on it, those was the ones that won. Ah, so. Ah, so yeah, you yeah, know that's what you're saying because that game probably already played. Yeah, you never know. Lines always change. You guys hope you're on the right side of it because right. you might get a line early that might not be the best line. It yeah. might be a better line closer to the, to kickoff. So mm, you never know. Mm, yeah, and see, my only thing with it, I like to wait a little closer to kickoff just so I know the public betting percentage because it's just like I said, like if I know a lot of money is on one side, I'm far more inclined to either hedge it. Are to put in like a more of an underdog bet. I'm gonna tell you how that hurt me this week. I was going to place my bet Sunday morning for the Sunday games, and so you know when you go place a bet at a casino, you have a player's card, so you yeah. give them the card, and then they make your bets. So the guy was, I put in my bets. He's like, it wouldn't take it. It wouldn't take it. So we, I'm at the counter for thirty, almost forty minutes, just doing different bets. They said it wouldn't take it. What? So he's like, man, it's strange. People been making bets all day. We don't know what's going on. He's, Everybody came from the back, the managers, the GMs, everybody was like, that's strange. Like, we don't, we didn't have any problem. Okay, let's move to another computer. It might be the computer. Yeah. So we slid over, same thing. So one of the guys was like, let's take your card off and just do it like if you was a regular person. Made mm. the bet and it went straight through. Wow, that's weird. That was super weird. So I'm like, 
Did they ban me too? Yeah. And we don't need that. Hey, yeah. We don't need that. Yeah. yeah they, that was, the, everybody at the counter was like, we have never seen nothing like that. Yeah. Because they probably never seen nobody winning like you've been winning. Yeah, they, <laughs> they might be on to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think they caught on. They might They <laughs> might be, man. They might be. But even for some of the subscribers, because I know a lot of people who have been following us and buying your picks and they've been winning too. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of them have been saying, yeah, man, just like the guy who went on vacation. Yeah. Last week and FaceTimed you. Like, that was awesome. But I, I think we like seeing that, you know, from a lot of the buyers and um, subscribers who buy the picks and listen to our podcast. One of the guys, the I got a text message. I think we might post it. We might post it. I got a text message from a guy that buy, buys my picks. He, he, he uses a local bookie. Okay. So a local bookie went and take his bets. He said, man, whoever you getting your picks from, he too sharp. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pay you what I owe you, but I don't want your action anymore. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It won't take his action no but, more. But hey, that says a lot about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he said, whoever killer. you getting your your picks from, like, it's, it's too sharp. I don't, you know, I don't want you, I'm going to pay you what I owe you, but I don't want your action anymore. You have to add another moniker, man. Bookie killer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, around the casino without a gun. Right. <laughs> the bookie killer. killer. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's all true, though. Add it to the slogan. Add it to the slogan, bro. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to have to call my, my lawyer, my lawyer attorney here in, uh, in Nevada, <laughs> tell her we need some trademark, <laughs> some copyright, you know what I'm saying? Oh, don't forget, we got merch coming soon. Yeah. So, we working on the merch. Everybody always asks me about the merch. Send them a shirt, send them a sweater, hat, whatever. We got merch coming, so. We could be part of the, the, the Fly Mafia family. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I'll tell you, man. So uh, even this week before I left, I put in a couple picks using the AI model. Mm-hmm. Bro, the AI model hit six out of the seven picks I wow. placed. Wow. Like seriously. Like, and that's huge. That's huge. But you know, like all, all I did was a lot of the overs and unders. Because, you know, that's what I kind of tailored it for. Mm-hmm. But that's going to be available for people, too. Uh, InfiniteSportsAI.com. Lock in. Uh, definitely, for sure. Lock in. So that's going to be great. Okay. And that'll be a wrap for episode six. Jeans, I had fun. I had fun, too, man. I feel like this was a great, hey, informative salute. episode. Salute. Yeah. And, that, and once be- again, I'm the gambling god. Mr. Rob the Casino Without a Gun. The magician. I turned 20s into 100s. And my co-host is... The genius financial guru. He shows you how to get the money. I'll show you what to do with it. And also, I'll tell you, we got to add that bookie killer on there, bro. Oh, and the bookie killer. <laughs> there we go. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs>